Then it is Samuel Foley, dead. Yeah, yeah. Died a minute ago here at St. Vincent. At the bedside was state political sidekick, Senator Joseph Payne. Yeah. Hello, long distance. This is Senator Joseph Payne speaking. I want the governor's residence of Jackson City. Hello. Oh, Joe. Oh, no. It couldn't have happened at a worse time. Call Jim Taylor. Tell him I'm getting on a plane tonight for home. Yes, Joe, yes. Yes, right away. What is it? Sam Foley's dead. Great saints. Of all times, of all times. Foley had to go and die on us. Who were you calling in the dead of night? Taylor, my dear. What's up, Happy? Sam Foley died tonight in Washington. Oh, that's too bad. Well, don't get excited, Happy. Is Payne coming? Yes, Jim. Yes, Jim. Yes, Jim. I suppose he'd drop dead if you ever said no to him. Oh, now, my dear, this is no time for jokes. I've got to appoint a new senator. The governor will see all committees immediately. You tell the governor for me that I won't wait here any longer. Yes, Mr. Edwards. Probably got that guy Taylor in there telling him what yeah, to do. Yeah. Oh, yes, tell him to wait. I'll see them immediately. Immediately. I've got to see those howling citizens. I can't put them off any longer. They'll want something to say about who goes to the Senate in Sam Foley's place. And ten to one, they've got a man. Relax, Happy. Stop having kittens. Now, you go in that room and tell Jim Taylor and Joe Payne that I'll give them just one more minute to make up their minds. You go tell Jim Taylor. I will tell him. It's high time I told Jim Taylor a thing or two. Now, look here, Jim. If you and Joe are going to gab any longer about this appointment, I'm going ahead and see those committees. You'll see those committees when we're finished. Yes, Jim. But hurry, will you? Yes, we'll hurry, we'll hurry. That's telling him happy, old boy. Jim, in other words, with this Willie Crick dam coming up, the man who goes to the Senate and takes Sam Foley's place can't ask any questions or talk out of turn. We've got to be absolutely sure of him. That's why I say Horace Miller. You take orders, all right. Jim, suppose we don't try to go through with this dam. Suppose we postpone it until next session of Congress. Or drop it altogether. Oh, that'd be a crime, Joe. After all the work we put in on it, getting it buried in this deficiency bill as nicely as you please, having it approved, it's rolling along, it's like taking candy from a baby. Is it worth the risk of a scandal now that a new man is going to the Senate? Worth the risk? So what's the matter with you, Joe? Were you concerned, I wouldn't take the slightest risk, especially now that you've made such a great reputation for yourself in the Senate. Yeah, look. Look at the campaign I started for you in all of my papers. It's a little obscure, isn't it, Jim? Well, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> but after all, you're the logical man from the West for the national ticket. At the convention, anything can happen. But Jim, if what you say about the future is at all possible, why not do as I say and drop things like this dam? We can't do it, Joe. We've been quietly buying up all the land around that dam and holding it in dummy names. If we drop it now or even delay it, it'll bring about an investigation. The investigation will show that we're going to sell it to the state under phony names. Now, it's my judgment. The smartest thing for us to do is to push this dam through just the way it's going and get it over with. All right, then, Jim. Appoint Miller. If you're sure, he'll take orders. Don't worry about Miller. He'll take orders. Come on. Uh, just a minute, just one more minute. Happy, we've got your man. Horace Miller. Horace Miller? Yeah. A born stooge. Why, old Horace will perform like a trained seal. What did I tell you, Joe? But, Jim, if I throw a party man like Horace Miller in the Happy, face of those for people... for reasons I can't go into now, it's got to be Horace Miller, do you understand? I've given you the man, now make out your ticket. Come on, chick, come on, Joe. But, Jim, I've got to see those angry committees first. Feel them out a little. Work for harmony, Jim. Harmony! In considering the candidates who might answer to the high qualifications of United States Senator, there was one name that shone out like a beacon. The Honorable Horace Miller. No! Miller, man! Oh, Horry, man! He's Taylor Stewart! The Dead shall have no part of this. Yes. New Citizens Committee won't stand for no. no. So, they named their own candidate, eh? Who? You won't like him, Jim. Come on, who? Henry Hill. Henry Hill? That crackpot? That long head? Why, you should have killed that so fast. I couldn't, Jim. I couldn't. Those men... Never mind what they were. You forget about him, see? Jim, that bunch is out for blood. If I throw Horace in their teeth I now, said forget about him. Horace Miller goes to the Senate and that settles it. I won't send Horace Miller. Oh, you won't? No, I won't. 
I won't let you stand there callously and perhaps wreck my whole political future. Your political future? Why, I bought it for you. I gave it to you as a present. And I can grab it back so fast it'll make your head swim. You've got a nerve to sit there and worry about your political future when we're in a spot like this. The man is Miller. Oh, Dan. Hi, oh, Dan. Dan. What's the matter, Dad? Is it getting you down? Is what getting me down? You're in a deuce of a pickle, aren't you, Pop? Looks like Henry Hill or Elk, huh, Pop? No, it's Horace Miller or Elk. Peter! <laughs> Gee, Dad, I wouldn't appoint an old twerp like Horace Miller. Taylor or no Taylor? Taylor? May I ask what Taylor has to do with this? Well, it's still running the show, any Pop? Emma, I will not have conversation of this sort carried on by the children at dinner. Why don't you listen to your children for a change? <laughs> No doubt my children could make this appointment for me with the greatest ease. That's easy, Dad. Jefferson Smith. I beg your pardon? Jefferson Smith. He's the only senator to have. Sure. He ought to be president. I like Jeff Smith. Me too. Oh, you too. Now everybody's been heard from. Well, forgive my abysmal ignorance, but I don't know this Jefferson Smith from a hole in the ground. Gosh, Dad. Head of the Boy Rangers. Oh, a boy. No, no, Dad. Jeff's a man. Jeff Smith. Biggest expert we got in wild game and animals and rocks. Yeah, and right now he's the greatest hero we ever had. It's all over the headlines. Sure, didn't you see about the terrific forest fire all around Sweetwater? I did. What about it? Well, Jeff put that out himself. Himself? Now, if you really want a senator... I Dad, do not want a senator. I do not want any more of this nonsense. He's the greatest America we got, too, Dad. He can tell you what George Washington said by heart. And boy, stuff's got the swellest stuff in it. What stuff? Boy stuff. That's the name of Jeff's paper. He prints it. Look, here's one. Oh, it's great. Everybody reads it. All the kids in the state. A million of them. Look, Pop, let me read you one of these. Peter, I am in no mood to listen to childish prattle. Prattle? You're all wet, Pop. No, sir, you couldn't do better, Dad. Do better than what? Jeff for Senator. Emma, if you please. You want to get out of a pickle, don't you? Oh, he's looking out for votes, aren't you? Yeah, and here's 50,000 kids with two folks apiece, and they vote. You want to do yourself some good in this state, Dad? If you're ever going to stand up like a man someday and tell Taylor to go to... That's it. I will not be attacked and belittled by my own children in my own home. Oh, my nerves are strained to the breaking point. Oh, Hubert. Henry Hill. Horace Miller. Miller. Hill. Hill. Miller. Heads Hill, Tails Miller. Chaser to the United States Senate? Listen, Jim, a simpleton of all times, a big-eyed patriot, knows Lincoln and Washington by heart, stands at attention in the governor's presence, even collects stray boys and cats. He does what? Joe, you know what I'm talking about. A perfect man, never in politics in his life, wouldn't know what it was all about in two years, let alone two months. And the important thing, and this was the genius of the stroke. Uh oh It means votes. The hero of 50,000 boys and 100,000 parents. Let's look over those congratulations that have been pouring in. I tell you, gentlemen, with this one statement... But you like... made this appointment without asking me. But, Jim, when the lightning struck... You didn't ask me. Oh, Jim! Now, wait a minute, Jim. Happy may have hit on something tremendous here. There, you see? Do you really think you can handle this whatchamacallum in Washington? Do you think it's all right? I think it's all right. A young patriot recites Lincoln and Jefferson, turned loose in our nation's capital. Yeah, I think it's all right. 